Protesters have gathered on the streets to demand action over sexual abuses in the Italian Catholic Church. The group was carrying boards with pictures of men and women with blood-stained undergarments. One of the protesters wore a nun's veil on her head as part of her demonstration against the Catholic Church. The group took inspiration from an Estonian protest in April which demonstrated against alleged violence committed by the Russian forces in Ukraine. The protest was in response to the ongoing discussion on how the investigation should be organised. The Italian bishops are divided on who should conduct the investigations, whether one of the existing anti-abuse committees or by an outside group comprising of academics, lawyers and abuse experts. We are here because of the immobility of the church, but especially because the state is not intervening. For some reason, it seems that the state is letting the church handle the situation. The contradiction of this is that the church is technically the party under accusation, the party that is supposed to make amends for the clergy's sexual abuse. We need an impartial body, in this case the state, to handle the situation. Instead, the state has been the only major absent party in this whole issue for years now. Di tutta questa problematica ormai da anni. There are no official figures on the number of church abuse victims in Italy, but the Primary Victims Association, Rete Labuso, estimates 360 cases of priests accused or convicted over the last 15 years. Unofficial data estimates that Italy could have the highest number of paedophile priests in the world.